Hey everybody, Ryan here. I'm doing a tutorial by request from someone asking Get how ready, to clean Go for um, broke. a auto combo system. Um, the auto combo system can be seen in action in real games such as Persona 4 Arena, which was recently released for PlayStation Xbox. Now, the way the auto combo system works is you push one button and you keep pushing it and you do other moves. Um, the problem this my friend is having here with this is that he pushes one button and the same move plays over and over and there's no real combo to it. As you see here with Kung Fu Man just light punching, he'll hit twice then you know, they'll move away and the combo doesn't count. All because it's literally just a single punch over and over. <clears throat> Not an actual combo. And the Y is also the same thing. So, today's video I'm going to explain how to do a, co um, a auto combo system um, in two ways. Um, you can do it either in the command file or in the CNS file. So, personally, I prefer the CNS file, so that's what I'm going to use. The easiest way to do an um, auto combo system is to have multiple states of what you want. Like, uh, first you have the first attack, then the second attack, third attack, fourth attack, whatever, for your auto combo. So, now, I want his auto combo for X to be light punch, light punch, strong punch. Now, to make this work easier for me, I'm going to copy the light punch and paste it again. And I'll copy the strong punch. Actually, wait, let me see. Actually, you know what? I, 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 just, I changed my mind. I'm going to copy the light kick. Yeah. Okay. And paste it here. And I'll renumber it to 201. So, 200 is auto combo 1, 201 is auto combo 2. You know, it's funny, I actually coded these auto combo type moves way before I knew it was an official word to use for coding things. I was in shock, I was like, what? Huh. Okay. So now, the way this combo is going to work is he's going to punch you to the left. Uh, let me show you here how the combo is going to work. Simply by pressing X, X, X three times, he's going to punch you like that, kick you like that, and finish it up with a slap. Simple enough, right? So now, to make it work properly, in the initial hit state, you have uh, your state def, then you have your um, hit definition, which is the actual move hitting, and all the other additional things like hit sound and chain state to put them back to normal stand position. What you need is a second chain state. Uh, uh, any state can have as many chain states as you want, as long as they have valid triggers that, um, you know, lead to different other things. You don't want to have two of the same chain states, and it's just pointless having two. So, the trigger for the first hit to go into the second hit of the auto combo will be, well, first he has to hit the person, right? So, move hit. That means I'm hitting the opponent. Now, move hit equals one means this is one tick after I hit the opponent. Two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, five ticks, six ticks. Move hit does not mean if you hit them six times. It's merely the amount of ticks time after the hit that this is active for. So, one tick, which, mean, which would mean right away. So, change state move hit equals one, and need two ampersand signs, and, and, to make this work, and uh, command equals in parentheses, x, lowercase x for letters, um, upper, uppercase letters for actual um, commands in your state, either in your command file. Now the value is going to be 201. Control is going to be zero because you're not um, giving the player back, back control. They're still going to have no control. But even though they have no control here, as you can see here, no control, because this change state is activated by the move hit and the press, it's activated by the trigger even though the player has no control. The trigger is active so it's happening. Uh, we don't need to worry about animation, hit, ignore hit, pause, or persistent. This is all we need. This code here will send them into this state. So, you press X, this is going to happen. You press X again and if you hit them, this is going to happen. Now, I'll just copy this over, paste it here, and I'll change this to XXX again and this is going to be 210. So it's going to be punch in the face, kick in the shins, and one slap across the face. Now, as I said, for the auto combo 1, you have to hit them and press X to go to auto combo 2. In auto combo 2, you have to hit them 
and press X to go to which I would normally have a third state auto combo 3 but instead I'm going to use standing strong punch so we'll see how this works that's one punch and here's one punch again from far away notice there's no combo going on just him mashing and here's close up that's just XXX see so because uh, I hit him I pressed X again he kicks and I pressed X again he slaps so that's more or less how a uh, auto combo system works simply by pushing one button and you can do crazy nonsense now um, for the Y auto combo system I'm gonna show you how to do it in the command file I haven't done this in a very long time in the command file but I think I can still do it I forget <clears throat> Maybe uh, after I finish abusing Kung Fu Man and editing him like crazy, I'll uh, post him up so people can play with him because he's crazy cool. Um, okay, so standing light. Okay, this is auto combo one, which I'll I'll just add auto combo one, and this is gonna be auto combo. I don't know number ten. Yeah, I'll, I'll just use 10 just because... Okay, so... The first thing to note is the trigger all and the triggers. For the regular standing strong punch, the player has to press... A trigger all means they have to do it, no matter what. This has to be true. Command has to be Y, which is the Y button. And a command has to not equal, meaning you are not pressing down. It says if you press down and you press Y, you will not do this. If you're not pressing down and you press Y, you will do this. So if you're not pressing down and you press Y and this is also important here and you are standing and you have control then you can do this then you can do all of this. Alternatively if um, if these are all check and well it's not actually and it's more like or it's this symbol really invisibly. So if all of this is good and you're say say you're in state 200, which is the low punch up here. And you uh, and time equal time is greater than five ticks. You can easily press X Y and switch from this state to this state quickly. I'll show you a quick look what that looks like. I've never tried this actually. Huh? So X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y and this works as a combo nonetheless. No, not a combo at all, actually. Okay, so, that's that. Uh, now, for the auto combo in the command file, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Combo, auto combo 11. I'll leave that the same. Change state to... I'm going to use standing strong kick 240. It's going to stay 240. Uh, command's going to be Y, uh, not hold down. Um... Say that okay, <clears throat> okay. That's all good. However, what we really need is to add this in front of it. Um, uh, actually, it's trigger all equals state number equals the previous state auto combo ten. This is eleven. This is ten. So that's state two ten. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I wouldn't advise using same state numbers like this. This will cause errors and confusion, but I think I can get away with it this time. So, trigger all meaning state 210. The player has to be in this state, or else this whole thing here cannot be activated. Instead, you'll get nothing. So, first is this, and during this state, if you press Y, and you're not holding down, and you're standing, and you have control, this is, doesn't really matter, you can opt this out. So if you're standing, you're not pressing down, and you press Y, and you're in this state, you will go to this state, 240. Copy and paste it again. Number 12. Now say you're in state 240 already, which is the second hit of the combo, the auto combo. And you press Y again, and you're not going down, um, and you're in uh, a standing state and you want to go to your next hit. Your next hit's gonna be, let's turn it to a special hit. We're gonna be 
Kung Fu Pa. Actually, Kung Fu Upper sounds cool. Um, 1,100. Okay, so go down to that. So, 1,100. And another thing we need to add to these is state no Okay, is right here. Command equals Y and... Oops, or... And, oh, no, wrong, wrong. I think I'm off by a key. There we go. And um, move hit equals 1. So now... Not only do you have to be in the previous state, and you have to have these triggers um, as flagged as true, you also have to hit them one, hit them, and press the command. Otherwise, you will push the command for this, and it'll automatically skip this and go straight to this. It's a it's a flaw mechanism thing, but um, I don't know. It's because there's no other trigger telling it that has to hit. If this is not here, it's gonna say, "Oh, I don't have to hit him," so I'll just change to this one automatically. You know, so now when I press Y Y Y, he's gonna slap him in the face, kick him in the gonads, and get ready, punk fighters, fighters, him in the go job. for broke. See, it would work better if I went forward, but eh. So slap in the face, kick in the gonads, and throw in the air. No, no point. Slap, kick, uppercut. Now as I said, I prefer doing the CNS because I feel like I have more control over what's going on. So, yeah, that's more or less the auto combo system um, done in Kung Fu Man for, um, you know, pressing X three times or pushing Y three times. Um, you can be creative and do it however you want to do it. It's up to you. But, you know, X, 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 and Y, Y, Y. Yes. So, just to go over that again, um, CNS auto combo. Well, you have your regular state for your attack, then you have a special chain state. It, it's, it's the same thing as a regular chain state. I'm just calling it special because it's it's there for the combo. Move hit equals one, which means one tick after the move has made contact with the opponent. You can also use move contact if you want them to do the combo while they're guarding. Move hit works for me though. It's whatever you choose. There's move guard, move hit, and move contact. I think move hit works best. And command equal X. So the move has to hit, and the command X has to be pressed down. Then, if that if this is true, the player is going to go to this state, the second state, which is the second auto combo, which I copied and pasted. So it's more or less the same thing over again. And if he does it again, the third time, he'll go to the next state, which is the finishing blow. That's in the CNS. In the command file, you have to be a bit more prepared with your triggers and everything, but it can be done almost just the same. You have your first hit, then you have a second hit which will um, be triggered only if the player is in the first hit state and they push the button and the move actually hits the opponent first. Then they can come to the second state. Now to go to the third state it's more or less the same thing. You just change the values a little bit. And you could add more triggers to make the combo system more complex or whatever you want to do. Or, you know, just experiment with things. But that's more or less all there is to the auto combo system. And personally, I think it came out pretty well for Kung Fu Man. Look at him. And now you should both bow. Oing. Thanks for watching. Um... Next video is going to be a life bar tutorial video. I am currently drawing my life bars. This is what they look like currently. These things spin around the face. The face actually fits in here perfectly with a little bit of pixels um, hanging out. So so this is the uh, portrait for the character. And these things are going to cover the edge. So it adds a nice little effect around the the portrait to make it look like they're all rounded by default when they're really not. So it's kind of like an optical illusion. And, uh, you know, life bar, power bar. Uh, I think this came out really well. I think I drew this really well. It probably looks like a mess in the video, but I mean, when you actually zoom out, it looks great. And this is just how I make my life bars. I plan it all out and do coloring and stuff. But yeah. So that's the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More tutorials. And watch my Street Fighter Alpha 4 uh, stage release video right in the giant screen box here.
everywhere. Everywhere.